so we're doing part two because uh, my malfunction. Because <laughs> mommy made a boo boo. Okay, so, oh, let me get my flashlight. <clears throat> there is a 10 millimeter bolt right here you want to take off. Oh, whoops, you didn't see that. <laughs> Maybe I can hand loosen it now. Maybe a little bit more with the tool. A little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more blood, yes. Oopsie daisy. I'm <laughs> All right, and then you should be able to loosen this by hand. The rest of the way, I recommend putting it somewhere like this because we just had the ratchet uh, 10 millimeter piece. I dropped it down to the engine. Luckily, the fan caught it. Okay, so you know what? This piece of crap hose is going to have to come off. Again, I'm not a dude, so you're going to have to bear with me. Oh, cool. Bonus. <laughs> we want to remember where that goes, though, so we'll leave that <laughs> And let's see. So now we've got that piece off. So what we have to do is continue. There's another 10 millimeter bolt around this corner right there. And these are the little clips we'll deal with, this little red thing. Well, we'll deal with those clips in just a minute. And I see why it's a good, I think, keep paper towel. Okay. So let's pause the video and I'll take this the rest of this housing off, just this 10 millimeter bolt. All right, so there are little clips right here. You can see, you can see this one has an actual fitting on it, but you can also push them up from, you guys didn't see that. So you can also push them up from under here if they weren't all San Diego dry. There's one right here that I noticed we have to get as well. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure this one's even going to not break when I try to pry it off. But we'll see. This car was actually fitted with a lot of these little tiny things that are normally missing when I bought it. And some of these aren't the right ones for the... because they're too long they set too far in there okay so I'm gonna pause this because it's a pain in the ass just kidding okay so we're <laughs> back and we took this piece of crap off it's not a piece of crap it's just well piece of crap. okay let me tell you why because this clip right here you can clearly see was so dry and just malformed so this one also snapped off tomorrow I'll be going to buy some new clips because I don't like that Seem like they held some important housing together. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do here is, we took this clamp off, you saw me do that, you saw me do this one. What you didn't see me do was this malformed thing, which is now over there. And then this right here, sorry mama, this right here just came off without me doing anything to it, so I don't think they even tightened this properly. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure to do that when we put it back together. <laughs> However, I forgot to show you guys something earlier because I had it in my pocket. This is called anti-seize lubricant. Now what this is good for is you want to put this on the spark plugs before you put them in the engine because I talk with my hands. So <laughs> you better keep up because this is what you got to buy. And um, <laughs> that way when you do this again, it'll be easier to get everything out. Okay, we needed our paper. I'm going to put this back in my pocket. We needed our paper towels after all because if you come over here, You'll see that over time I have accidentally spilled some oil in there. The ah, little well. Those little wells of oil. So it's my fault. And so what we're going to do is put the paper towel before we do anything else. And just soak that up. And that could be why some of these aren't firing correctly. This is clearly has been soaked in that stuff at some point. So let's <laughs> Careful when you're shoving it on. <laughs> And you know what? Getting the rest of this out, maybe. Oh, that was a big. Damn, that's a deep hole. Um, no, it's okay. I'm gonna take the housing off first, and then we'll get we'll get all that shit in there. 
Okay, so I'm going to take these off, and there's four of them. I'm going to show you how to do one like everyone else does, and then you can do the rest on your own. So it's pretty simple. You take this little red tab. Oh, um, there. And you pull it like that. And then all you do is just kind of wriggle this. Hold on. Some people held this. There you go. Wriggle that housing out, right? And then continue on down the line. Just like that. Boop. Oh, that one doesn't even have a bolt. That could be why I'm misfiring as well. That's not good. So when you hear something go underneath your car, you should probably come check this shit out. And yes, I'm the daughter of a sailor and a biker, so here we are. And a truck driver. <laughs> I'm the granddaughter of a truck. Okay, so we've got all these little piddly dink housings off, and I'm really not happy about this, Matt, I tell you. Mm. So all you got to do from here is pull this little weird Lego piece out. <laughs> Somebody was pretty stingy with the anti seas You can see that white shit before. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just look inside and show you how pretty that and clean that is. It should be clean. Looks gorgeous. And since we have some space Thank here, you. Uh, even with my boy being on, we're going to shove this in here to soak up some of that nasty stuff. Because I don't think that's good to have in your engine sitting. Considering most of this stuff, like the human body, is extremely combustible if not separated properly. <laughs> and the dog says they agree. <laughs> Gross. Poor engine. It's like having a booger stuck in your nose for 20 years. <laughs> Guys are going to want to date you just because you said that on camera. <laughs> well, most of them probably fart in the living room and don't care who's around, so whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. So there was a bolt down there that uh, I don't have any business dealing with, but there's something down there that shouldn't be covered in that type of grossness. So... What we'll do is just pause the video again. I know it's a lot of pausing, but we're going to come back when all these are off. Okay, so sorry about the pausing again, but that stuff was a pain in the butt. You can look and see oh, here that we've taken all the housings off. I've actually looked in here. This one was filled with some motor oil. This one has some little fuzzy or something inside of it. But that shouldn't be a problem. I cleaned as much of this as I can out. These two are perfectly fine. So... What I'm going to do now is change this head. So this should just, with a little bit of force, come off. Thank you, miss. And then I'm going to put the spark plug puller. This is a 5 8 Husky spark plug puller. Attached to my extension, of course. Because you have to get down in there. Okay, and I have no clue what these are going to look like when I pull them out. But we'll find out. Tightened. And I did not unplug my battery for this. Just so you're aware. Good time. No one else mentions that in the video. Might be commonplace, but this is the first time I'm doing it, and anyone else watching this probably hasn't done this before either. So, my whole head is still in there. <laughs> Pause the video. Okay. So, you can see. Holy crap, I'm surprised this car ran. So, I'm going to remove the head. And I'm going to set this in our... Oh, if you're a female, handy basket, alright? So, I'll show you. Some of these have a mechanism. This is what I'm going to show you. This is the mechanism. There's so many things wrong with this spark plug. Um, this is what they call a collapsible bearing. Oh. That's what they call a collapsible bearing. This little tiny piece right here. 
and it starts out a little thicker and as you put the spark plug in it collapses to create a seal this should not be this color this is a faulty spark plug this is some of the um, anti-seize they put on before which they were real stingy with I don't think it should be covering this piece personally of your spark plug but that's clearly a shot spark plug dirt all in it it's probably not gapped correctly anymore it's definitely done it's a piece of crap so what I'm going to do is throw this in my bag here and some people are sock shoe sock shoe people some people are sock sock shoe shoe people I'm one of those who does it randomly each time so right now we're just going to do the first one and then you can imagine how the other ones would go like in the other videos you need to watch me do all four and then I'll show you how to reattach the housing but for now we're going to pause the video again and put our spark plug back in okay so we got all the spark plugs out. I already threw them in my bag here. But I will let you know that my spark plug number four, somebody over tightened and it take, took me probably the majority of the time to get that one off. Everything seems fine inside. They're all empty. So I'm going to put a new spark plug in right now. And we'll start with space one. So I'll show you. I'm going to attach my spark plug puller, but it's, I guess you can call it an attacher too. And then we take the spark. I'm doing it over this basket just to make sure that I don't drop anything. So what you want to do is keep that cardboard on and put this over this until you get it to fit. Then I would take this off. These are pre-gapped. That's why I like the NGK and some other person said that on one of their videos. So I don't have to do any gapping. They're already gapped. And they look beautiful. Let me pull one of the old ones out real quick so I can show you the difference, actually, before I start this. Okay. These are, this is clearly the old one. This white stuff is not porcelain. It's part of their anti-seize, which obviously didn't work because they were shisty with it. So, we'll need that piece of cardboard anyway. So, <laughs> this is the collapsible bearing, and you can see the difference between them. Not collapsed and collapsed. Let me get the focus in on that. No, can you touch the middle of the screen, Mama? There we go. So now you can see the difference between the collapsed one, non-collapsed. Used, corroded, perfect. So these are really gross and I'm gonna throw them over here. I'm a Lyft Uber driver, so I'm gonna have additional repairs beyond what other people may have. My repairs may happen every 30,000 miles or so. Okay, so what I've done is attached it here. What you want to do is switch this now because you're tightening. And there's a point you want to reach. Okay, that's in the middle. Where you tighten it to. You don't want to over tighten. Okay, and you can try to pull up and you'll feel that there's tension. That means you're getting the threads in. This may take a little while. It took me just as long to get them out. It's not a rush job. You can feel it tightening. You do not want to over tighten or you'll spend 20 minutes. Oh crap, you know what I forgot to do? Put the antices on. So this is a good way to show you how to take them out. That's probably what they forgot on that fourth one was the anti seeds. You know, if you can't, you know, you never feel like you do anything right or whatever, just remember, you're the sperm that made it to the egg first. <laughs> you win already. Success. <laughs> Man, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, so double win. <laughs> Wish this thing would come out. Alright, we'll pause this while I figure this anti-seize thing out after. 
Alright, so I forgot to put the anti-seize on here, which is what I showed you earlier. You just want to open up a little pack. I've seen people open it up from the bottom so they can save it longer. It cost me $1.67 for this, so I'm not worried about saving the bag. What I am noticing is that nothing's coming out. Here we are. Okay, so it's got a silver color. You just want to put a wee bit. I saw the other dude do it on his finger first. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay. And then you want to give a generous portion all across the threading. Try not to get it on the coil. Like I usually do. And boom. Decent coat. Wiping. Okay, now we'll fix How's this. this mean? <laughs> and we're gonna tighten them. That actually seems to be going in a lot easier. It could be because I already did it before. I should have started the car so you could hear it before. Just take my word for it. It was rough idling. <laughs> Not want to over tighten. There's actually a point where I saw someone you could hear it click. That to me is tight enough. I don't want to risk going any tighter. When I didn't hear it click, I'm not, you know, a Hulk woman either, but I don't want to. <laughs> over tighten because you can thread your um, uh, you can take the threads off of this cross thread what they call it and basically you're stripping all those threads off you will not have firing in your engine after that okay Good. don't forget our goop I almost did again hey at least it cleaned the tip of my finger you're fine my finger me and Earl here take your ball and you got a couple more fingers on you. Alright, and then you just gently caress before you dress caress. Boom. Doesn't need to be lubed up. Oh! Down goes seizure. And we're shoving in. And tighten it again. So I'm going to do this for the other ones, but you can see how it's done. And we're going to pause the video again so you can handle that. And then um, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hold the flashlight while I do this so I can show you. I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize here. I've seen this done in other videos too. And what they do is put this on there. You kind of want to create a good seal anyway. And then there's no really wrong way to put this in here because it has that hole. But what you want to do is kind of make sure that it's got the suction on there. There's actually suction cups. So then what I'm going to do is take this and attach my 10 millimeter head again. And then take this screw. And we're going to put it right back on there. Now I'm taking the same screw with the same um, cylinder cover. Coil. Oh, whoops. They're tightening. tighten this one? No. You want the seal to be as strong as it can possibly be here. So if you tighten this down, it should press everything down as tight as it can be. But you want the strongest seal. 
Don't crack the plastic. I'm not strong enough to do that, I don't think, but. Maybe a guy could. So that's not moving, and that's fine with me. <laughs> we're not going to attach this yet because we want to do the other ones, but I'll come back after we put the other four in and I'll show you how we attach the housing to everything. So we'll be back in just a minute. Good job. All right, so we've put all the housing back on here. I actually took a screw from some of the air ducting that I may not need to attach this housing. I looked at the numbers on top. They're the same exact numbers on top of here, so they're the same screw, and that's fine. You don't want to put the wrong screw in certain things. So here we're going to, so this one's a little difficult to see, shove that mofo back in there, put it on real nice, make sure it's attached properly, and then put that clip back on there. We'll be able to see these ones better. Okay, so sliding it on, you heard the click, make sure, shut it off, or on, turn it on. <laughs> Clipping, secured. Shoving, get a little click, and secured. So, what I can do now is put the air ducting back on, which is this fun thing. And so we'll return after I reattach this because it's the same way you took it off. Okay, so here we are with a black hand. And, um,. At first I thought I had broken the car because it didn't have my key fob in the car and I tried to turn it on and I was like, no! So we turned it on and it did work. Hopefully it turns on right now. That's the best I've ever heard this car turn on the entire time I've owned it. And that's a strong engine. There's no service warning. There's no nothing on the car. So I like the sound of that engine. I might take it for a ride here in a minute just to see how it's going. But that worked. So, if you reassemble everything just the way we took it off, you're good. So many, sorry there's so many parts to this video, but we're like learning, so. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah. Right. That's my baby! <laughs>